How's it going, everybody? Good to see you back here at the show, brushing up with Sean. We are gonna be painting an awesome Arizona landscape. This is the Superstition Mountains, and I'm gonna show you how to paint it coming right up. All right, so let's get this painting started. We're going to go ahead and grab one of your larger size brushes and we're going to do what we typically do is work from the back and work our way forward with everything. I've got all my basic colors that we typically use at all of our events. We have red, yellow, black, white, blue, and green. All right, so we're going to go with all of those colors. We'll be doing some color mixing and just transforming this entire painting but it's going to be awesome man we're going to take care of it so what i want to do is at least start with like a light blue sky all right so we're going to take our larger brush this is a one and a half inch brush you can use a little bit smaller if you like if you got a different size canvas this is 16 by 20. i'm going to make a light blue i'm going to go ahead and put, dip some blue and on the side of what my white pile just kind of mix it in i'm going to keep some of that available white plain white just in case i need it for later but everyone's light blue is going to be a little bit different so no big deal. I'm just going to practice with this. Now I'm going to take this paint and get a good feel for it. I'm going to go back and forth, side to side, across the very top. All right, and this is a great step. We're getting a feel for how this paint works. And by doing the side to side motion, it helps blend your paint a little bit. Gives a little bit of character to you start seeing little bits of lighter blues and darker blues coming off of your brush because i'm taking the paint as far as i can go without putting any more on my brush okay so you can see there is some kind of different sky going on there of course once you run out of paint i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more in there and there we go i'm just going to only come about right almost a little less than halfway up okay or if you want you can go halfway down whatever you want down up whatever just about halfway all right so you can see there's some streaks to it some pretty cool kind of atmosphere going on in there um, it's really exciting once you start really delving in i mean you can even add some more blue on your brush and add like a darker little bit of a touch of darker atmosphere up top in your corner just to give it a little bit more depth and it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting but you can see it just changes a little bit it's a fun step you don't have to but you can just mess around with it that's what the step is so cool is you can just mess around with your paint and just get a good feel for you know the blending and See how you how you like it okay and i'm doing pretty long brush strokes you can see and just letting the paint blend as i just go you can hear that brush going back and forth all right so that's your first beginning of your sky right there we're going to go ahead and just take that same brush all right, it's pretty big. You can use a smaller brush if you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put some plain white on that brush. All right, just some plain white. And I'm just gonna start kind of blotting or dabbing that brush. All right, and I'm gonna start making some clouds. I'm blotting or dabbing, what that does, it creates a lot of cool texture. Stuff that you wouldn't get on the other little thing that we did of that back and forth technique this is pretty cool you get some cool atmospheric clouds now if you want to like change it up we've done this in some of the previous episodes and not have it just like bright white clouds you can add a little bit of red on your brush and mix it into there making kind of like a purple and watch what that does that creates a whole new kind of cloud almost looks like there's some moisture now in these clouds all right so i'm going to use maybe keep going with that and add that purple touch and i'm taking the paint again as far as i can go i'm separating 
some of the the blue sky. I still want to see it though. I still want to see some of that blue sky because you worked on it. You got some cool features there you want to keep using. All right, but I'm going to keep going. Again, this is just some background stuff. There's no perfection. Nature's not perfect. We use that to our advantage. Yes, we do. And just fun. And we'll let those clouds dry off a little bit as we keep on going. And you can also, if you want, you can, you can add shadowing. You add a little bit more blue into your purple and that creates a little bit of a shadowing. You can even add more red to make it a darker purple. So you can put more in there. Just play around with it, have some fun with it. Just see what pops up, what colors you kind of get out of these, just by mixing a few. We'll add some highlights after we let it dry a little bit. But at least you can see, just a fun step. Blotting and dabbing. And that's what is so cool about painting is that each one is so different. Everybody's got their own style, their own take. And that's what makes it so fun and awesome. That's what art is all about. All right, and some little little side clouds here and just mess around with it a little bit and there you go you've got some awesome clouds all right we'll keep it going now that we've got our background clouds uh, we're going to go ahead and switch brushes and we're going to start on our mountains here what yeah i want you to do is go ahead and grab maybe a medium size brush to maybe a medium small size brush. I'm going to use about a medium size right here. Um, but we want to go ahead and make brown. All right. So with all these colors, the easiest way to do this is really just make orange first. So we're going to go ahead and take scoop up some of our red, mix it into yellow. And that will create an orange color. And you're going to bring that out into your plate here. Got some nice available space. And what you do, it's kind of weird, but you're gonna go ahead and you are gonna scoop up some black and mix that into your orange. And that will create a brown. And we're gonna start with a darker brown at first, and then eventually we'll do some highlights. Um, but we wanna start with maybe some shadowing and at least kind of have some fun, try to get used to this brown color. I know it's a little bit different mixing it up. You can do that with a palette knife or your brush. I just did it with my brush that I'm using just to make it go by a little bit quicker. I'm going to wipe some of that off on my plate. As you can see, I don't need all that brown. Now, these are special shape mountains. All right. They are the superstition mountains of Arizona. So I'm going to start just here by making a nice little line. And with the superstition mountains, you kind of actually have to make it look <laughs> a lot like them. All right, just so you can get a good idea. Now you don't have to be so perfect, but what you want to do is at least have an idea. And we're going to be teaching this, of course, at some of our events with these here in Arizona. And really it's all about just slowly moving your brush and just going across and just kind of going with some shape. All right, now some of these mountains have really prominent like drops all of a sudden. It's very kind of obvious once you see those kinds of mountains. And we're going, coming up into the sky. You can see I'm doing that as well. Um, just to add a little bit of depth. All right. Now, of course, I'm running a little bit out of brown on my brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just go along the horizon line of this. And there you go. You can mess around with it. You could really do it. If you're like, hey, okay, I made it I made it too short. I need to make it taller. Just do that. Just do the same thing. Start it over. All right, check this out. And you can make it taller. Wherever you want on your canvas, you can just kind of play around with it. And you can just do the same lines, only taller. Look at how that worked out. 
and boom. See? And then there you go, here's your horizon line. So it just depends on where you left off on your brown. But what you want to do is at least make some more of that brown. So red and yellow, put some black in there. And let's just go ahead and paint in those mountains. Okay. Uh, the paint's a little wet, no worries. It's going to add texture by just doing this step and adding quite a bit of paint on top of the paint that's still drying. But that's okay. It adds for like a nice effect. So it's kind of fun. All right, so I'm just filling it in. And again, as I'm doing that, you can start to see some textures already pre being made, which is pretty cool. We'll add highlights and lowlights and whatnot on these mountains eventually here. But at least right now we've got the shape Again, some of these features on these superstition mountains are pretty intense, pretty amazing what comes off of them. In fact, you can even make some more bumps and whatnot too as you're filling it in. All right, and then I'm just gonna fade some of that brown off here. All right, and what I'll do is I'm going to actually take probably from this point right here and just kind of add some like little slope coming down into the landscape below. So as you can see, a real pretty bumpy terrain, but that's the way these mountains are. So we're going to make them as much as we can like them. All right, so we've got that. Now we want to do is just add some highlights as we come down. All right, we want to add some light brown just coming down here and breaking up some of this obvious land. Now, Arizona, if you're out here at all, it's real dry. All right, there's not a whole lot of life, but sometimes actually, right time of year, it starts to get pretty awesome out here. All right, we're gonna add one layer right here, just going across. And you see I'm going with the flow of my brush. I'm still using the same brush, but I'm just adding a ton of color and just adding this cool streaks of paint that just kind of goes with the flow of the landscape. All right, again, you're kind of hearing it off the brush. This is still drying. You can see that it's still really dark and everything up there. No big deal. All right, we want it to be a little bit dark. So let's, while, we, 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 while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and add some like good life in here. Um, you can actually set your plate down. I'd say wipe off a, you know, a good amount of that brown. You can also just trade and change your brush. But I'm going to go ahead and add like a toned down green a little bit. I'm going to put some white in this green and maybe some yellow and kind of make like a softer lime green. And look at this. We're going to add some life down here. That's what you tend to see out here in Arizona is you get these really rocky, rocky mountains. Lots of browns and stuff going on up there. And then you'd have like these sparks of life that are just like leading up to the uh, mountains here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just add some greens. Again, if you want some yellow, more yellow in there, feel free. Again, it's just playing around with your paint. But we're covering a lot of canvas. Again, these are just the base layers right now. We got some, and you can see it's kind of coming up into the browns. I'm even taking some of the brown into the green and just lend, letting it blend in together. Adds a nice little land kind of scape there, land, land feel. All right. Now it's pretty, starting to get, I'd say, a little bit darker as you come down below. And we 
we can head into this corner with some really nice green, just plain green. So I've got a little bit lighter and then I just really kind of worked over to this corner with some plain green just to make it really vibrant and bright. You could tone it down with whites. That'll do that. Whatever you like. And as you can see, just some fun paint going right onto this. It's fun blending these colors. You just don't expect it to work, but then it actually does when it comes out to it. All right, so you've got that. Those are like your base colors. Now we're gonna really start delving into detail and adding a lot of different highlights, shadows, all sorts of goodies on this painting. All right, keep it going, guys. Okay, now the paint is starting to dry. All right, it's still a little bit wet up here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually add some highlights into this. I, I'm gonna go ahead and do a flat brush, a little bit more of a smaller size brush. I would highly recommend kind of switching that out to more of a small to medium size brush. Um, something that you can do like finer detail with. Now I've got my plate here. You can see it's a, quite a mess. So I'm just gonna keep kind of using the paint that I do have and I'm gonna create some light orange. All right, so that means yellow with just a hint of red, not too much. In fact, if you want, you can add more yellow just to you know make more of that color. That red will saturate that uh, yellow so quickly. Um, and what you want to do is really just kind of get an idea of highlights of where you want, you know, the light shining on these mountains. I'm going to have this, maybe the light coming from over here and, you know, just practice as you can see with this light orange, you can see it does pop off and I am just barely just touching the canvas and just kind of going right along the side there and just adding a nice little highlight. All right, and you can do that on some of these other ones here. Just get a feel for it. Again, I'm using maybe a smaller, you know, brush. And again, these mountains are so heavily textured. If you were to see them, um, you know, on your own, you can see that they're just so heavily textured. So that means we're going to do some good separation of highlights here. So I'm going to practice on this, like, check this out, this big guy right here. We're going to just mess around with him. We're trying to, you know, get a good enough idea of what these mountains are by just adding some awesome texture. You want to separate it, but not separate it too much. You want to see some of that um, brown below. And we can add darker highlights as well a little bit later on. Now, if you want a little bit more of an orange tint, you just add, again, a little bit more red. And you can see it just adds a beautiful color all right, and we're going to go ahead and just, again, I'm just using the small side of this brush, but making some really cool, fun highlights. All right, really, really pretty. That's what's so awesome about Arizona. You get some really amazing sunsets out here. And then you also get these really pretty colors going off some of the rock. All right, so again, I'm. you can see that the, Highlights are going in one direction. Some of them are popping out on these mountains. So go ahead and work on your highlights for a while.
Uh, okay, now so I've got some highlights on there. What really separates it now is making some low lights. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a really dark brown. Lots of more black into that brown. And this will start creating some good separation, really a lot of depth. You're going to start seeing come off that. I'm going to start with maybe some of the middle here. Now I'm going to still keep some of that brown exposed, but again, I'm kind of just slicing it up a little bit with some of this uh, darker brown. And that, you can see right away, just adds an awesome effect to it. All right, it just changes it dramatically. You can see just how much really that step does. Really fun to add a little bit more depth in there and just make it a little bit more interesting with some color. But wow, that is changing th that mountain so dramatically. So work on your shadows, okay? Just dabbing, blotting lightly, changing your landscape. Again, no perfection. We just need to make it look somewhat like the shape of these mountains. Of course, you can actually make some fun kind of land coming right off here. You can almost separate a little bit. So you've got all of that beautiful shadowing, all right, took over quite a bit some of the areas. Again, if you mess up, you know, don't worry about it. It's all good. We're just learning. All right, don't even worry about it. This is everybody's going to have a little bit of a different feel on this painting for sure. Especially when we start dealing with mountains and stuff. Boom. All right, some nice depth, some cool texture. And that's about it, guys. We'll work on some of the land here. All right. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. You can make little marks, too, just to add, like, little itty-bitty shadows. It makes it a little bit more realistic. There you go. All right. So rinse your brush off, dry them off when you're done with your low lights on your mountains, and we'll start working on the land. All right. So like I said, as we come further down away from your rock, the land starts to get a little bit more life going. All right. And it just starts to kind of liven up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just put some yellow on our plate. Okay. A little green got in there. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more white. And let's see if we can get some yellow here, boom. All right, there's a little bit of green on there, no big deal. All right, and then if you want, just a smidge of red. All right, so a bright white and a little tiny bit of red. We'll make this kind of pretty cool tannish color so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a little bit more yellow in there and that's what it's all about sometimes just mixing your colors seeing what you can get off that now i want you to just kind of we're going to add some of this awesome beautiful yellow it's really bright but what it starts to do is it changes your landscape here it starts to show that there is more to this painting than we really thought all right, and it adds the mountains a little bit more depth. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add that to the horizon line. 
And as we come up to our mountains, it starts to change a little bit. The landscape starts to change. And you can see I'm just taking a little bit of paint and just taking it as far as I can go without putting any on my brush. I'm just seeing how far I can actually take this. And we're going to just take this right about down to where this brown is. Some of this bright, and you can still see some of that brown shining through. But what I'm going to do is see, very lightly, very, very so, so gentle, that brush. And just adding these highlights onto this canvas. Look at it, I'm still using the same paint that I did to mix with it. I haven't even got new paint on my brush. Just finding the leftover paint and taking it as far as I can go. And that creates a really pretty cool depth now. New kind of life, a little bit of depth. And man, that's fun. Just a simple step like that changes everything. Okay, we've got highlights now on our land. Really pretty step. Um, so work on that and we'll keep this painting going. Okay, still throw some of that brown. There you go. All right, so you can see we've got our mountains, our clouds. We worked on a little bit of this awesome color right in here. We've got a lot of space right down here. So we're going to go ahead and start to make these kind of little short bushes that you'll see out in the Arizona landscape. Um, we're going to do uh, the shadowing first. And as like I said, there's a lot of color going on out there. So we're going to go ahead and make a turquoise. So that means some blue and green. All right, and I'm using a round brush now. I switched it up because uh, we tested it on a different painting and I did like the texture that the round brush did because we're gonna do some blotting and dabbing with this brush. So I'm taking some green, scooping it up, mixing it into my blue, and that will make a nice turquoise. And don't be afraid of color, all right? That's the one thing I want you to kind of understand is you know, sometimes it's okay to use a lot of different color. You'd be surprised what pops out. So we're gonna make these front bushes right up here. Almost look like little pieces of broccoli. All right, <laughs> kind of fun, All right? Just blotting and dabbing, you can see right there. Look at that, that's kind of cool, right? It's just a new, now they're big up front here. Now once you finish one, all you do is you then you take a little line and just come out. It's going to be a shadow. All right. See, so make some more of these guys. There's a lot of them. Okay. Now, as you go, come up further. They get a little bit smaller. All right. Some can be close together. Some further apart. But they just are all over the landscape out here. Again, we're just doing the shadow part of them first. Just tons of them. And again, it's a great step because it breaks up that bottom part. You're like, oh my gosh, there's like, what can we do on there? Well, this will do it. Okay, just a lot of clutter. I want to make something out of this painting. And this is a great way to do it. Boom. Okay, some of them can be smaller, but as you can, as you go further and further back, they tend to get smaller and smaller. They're all over the place. Okay. Again, if you want to, you can like just switch a brush real quick. You know, put some blue on there, make some turquoise real quick. And then you can make your shadows, your little lines. Okay. 
Remember that light's coming from over there. So we want to add those little shadows. All right. Okay, and then you can go back. You can even take that smaller brush and add more shadowing in there on that one side, on the left side. And just break it up even more, whatever you need to do. So I'll let you work on that. Okay, once you've got that, it's kind of a fun one. We're gonna go ahead and also make a cactus. All right, same turquoise, smaller brush. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy like right here, I'd say. So let's go ahead and just make this cactus come up. It's just a line that comes up into the light right there. Okay, if you want it darker, you can add some blue. And that adds some good perspective as well. A little bit of distance. And we can add And of course, if you feel inclined, you can add more dashes and dabs to your land. You don't have to just do it off that. You can add some of that turquoise and just kind of go with the flow. So you can just breaking it up even more. It's a fun little way of just adding a little bit more interesting stuff to this landscape. You can do it with in and out of this green and make it look like there's some little little different patches here. You can even darken it up, okay? We can even add even more of a darker color tones and things like that to it. I'll show you what I mean. You're like, what do you mean, Sean? I'm gonna go ahead and add some black into my turquoise. And watch what this does. <laughs> that changes that real quick. Darkens it up quite a bit. And I'm taking just that little bit. You don't need too much black because we don't have like a whole lot of black in this painting. We want to tone it down a little bit. Not a crazy amount of contrast, but enough to make it shine. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and use the shadowing on this side of your cactus. Look at that, pretty, work on that. So as promised, we wanna add some highlights onto these bushes and really make it shine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and use some of that yellow tone that we did right up there, that lighter stuff. Um, so mixing white and yellow and just a pinch of red will make that. And again, the highlights, let's practice on this big guy. Just, I'm using the round brush and I'm just dotting and blotting on just that side. Look at that. Taking that paint, highlighting the one side of my bushes. And just mess around with it. That's all you do, just mess around with it. Give it a whirl, see what happens. Each one's different.
All right. Again, you can take a little bit off your brush there, add some highlights in your ground, whatever you want. It's your landscape. Yeah, I'm breaking it up even more. Things tend to get a little crazy out there in that land. <laughs> okay, so just have fun with it, guys. Again, we're just, you know, now it's like the little details and we're just kind of having some fun, just getting creative, you know, and just, yeah, again, I'm gonna maybe darken up this over here a little bit because it's a little shadowing compared to down over there where it's a little bit lighter, but I'm just breaking it up with that flat brush, not making the green so dominant now but enough to where it just adds a cool texture and feel to it and that is it that is the painting that we're going to start doing a little bit a couple of these in some of our classes get ready for the superstition mountains coming your way get this arizona stuff going out here yeah love it though Beautiful color, and then you know what? Final touch. Let's add some uh, highlights on our cactus. Let's not forget about that guy. On this side. Boom. And voila. There you go, Arizona. Enjoy. See you at the next show.